Good morning, good morning, good morning, Riverside family. Uh, it is so good to be with you this morning. My name is uh, Glenn Allen, Pastor Glenn Allen. I'm the pastor of the Southern District of Virginia. Uh, I have the pleasure, the pleasure of uh, pastoring a, a two-church district along with a mission. Uh, the Three Angels Message Seventh-day Adventist Church in Danville, Emmanuel Seventh-day Adventist Church in South Boston, and Hope Mission in Clarksville, Virginia. Uh, but I am so excited about being with you this morning. And, and this, this is a, a very interesting uh, chapter in 2 Chronicles 23. And, and so before I get started, uh, just let's have a word of prayer. Uh, dear most kind and precious Father God, Lord, before we even look into uh, the scriptures, Father God, we should ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And so, Lord God, I ask that you will be with uh, the Riverside family this morning, Father. I ask that you will just uh, touch them, bless them, and give them a special insight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Um, one of the things that you might, uh, again, I know you're accustomed to doing this, uh, so forgive me, it's been a while since I've done it, is uh, you might want to get out your pen, uh, your pencils, and your pad, and you want to jot down, and you want to journal, uh, because basically, uh, when we're done, uh, you may want to go back and uh, review. You may want to go back and relive a couple of moments. Uh, so journal these things down uh, so that you can continue uh, as you move forward uh, to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. Uh, so God bless. So we're going to get started. Uh, I'm reading in, from the New King James Version, and I'm reading uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 23. 2 Chronicles chapter 23. 2 Chronicles chapter 23. And the word of God says, in the seventh year, Jehoiada strengthened himself and made a covenant with the captains of the hundreds. Azariah, the son of, uh, the son of, oh no, I lost my space because I got a text message. Uh, the son of uh, Joham, 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 Ishmael, the son of uh, Joshiana, uh, forgive me for messing up these names, but, uh, and Azariah, the son of Obadiah, uh, Masaniah, the son of uh, Adadai, and uh, Ella, uh, Ella, uh, Ella, Lord have mercy, Ella, Ella Fad, Lord have mercy, the son of uh, Zachra, okay? And they went throughout Ju Judah and gathered the Levites from all the cities of Judah and the chief fathers of Israel, and they came to Jerusalem. Then all the, then all, uh, the assembly made covenant with the king of the house of God, have mercy. Keep that in mind. And he said to them, behold, the king's son shall reign. Oh, okay. As the Lord has said of the sons of David, this is what you shall do. One third of you entering on the Sabbath of the priests and the Levites shall be keeping watch over the doors. Verse five, one third shall be at the king's house and one third at the gate of the foundation, all the people shall be in the courts of the house of the Lord. But let no one come into the house of the Lord except the priests of those and those of the Levites who serve. They may uh, go in for they are holy. Come on now. But all the people shall keep the watch of the Lord. And the Levites shall surround the king on all sides, every man with his weapon in his hand. And whoever comes into the house, let him uh, be put to death, have mercy. Uh, you are to be with the king when he comes in and when he goes out. So the Levites and Judea and Judah uh, did according to all that uh, Josiah, uh, the priest, commanded. And each man took his men who were. Uh, to be on duty on the Sabbath uh, with those who were uh, the, with those who were going off duty on the Sabbath for Joadida, and the priest had not dismissed the division. And Joadida, the priest, gave to the captains of, of hundreds the spears and large and small shields which had belonged to King David that were in the, the temple of God. And then he said, "All the people." every man with his weapon in his hand from 
uh, the right side of the temple to the left side of the temple, uh, along by the altar and, and by the temple all around the king. And they brought out the king's son, put the crown on him, have mercy, gave him the testimony and made him king. Then Jehoiada and his sons anointed him and said, Long live the king. Okay, here comes the juicy part. Now, when uh, Athaliah heard the noise of the people running and praising the king, she came to the people in the temple of the Lord. When she, when she looked, there was, uh, there was a king standing by his pillar at the entrance, and the leaders and the trumpeters uh, were by the king. All of the people. All and of the land were rejoicing and blowing trumpets. Uh, also, the singing, uh, the uh, the musical instruments, and those who led in the praise. So Athaliah, uh, Athaliah tore her clothes, have mercy, and said, "Treason, treason!" And Josiah, the priest, brought out the captains of the hundreds who were set over the army and said to them, "Take her outside under guard and slay." With the sword, whoever follows her, have mercy. For the priests had said, do not kill her in the house of the Lord. So they seized her, and she went by the way of the entrance of the horse gate into the king's house, and they killed her. Then Jehodiah made a covenant between himself, the people, and the king. Pastor, Pastor, unmute your phone. Unmute your phone, brother Pastor. Unmute your phone, brother Pastor. Pastor, your phone is muted. Pastor, you have muted your phone. Unmute your phone. Pastor, unmute your phone.
Open your camera, Pastor. Okay, guys, this is Nikki. <clears throat> okay, let me know what verse he stopped at. Can you all let me know that in the chat? Nikki, they, they, they don't have access to the chat, so why don't I continue? Um, okay, thank you. Not over. That's not over. Uh, we apologize, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the uh, technical difficulty. And I will um, continue, um, I believe, um, uh, I would uh, I remember where he's... He, he stopped uh, it. He stopped at 16, Pastor. 16, all right. I will continue from 16. All uh, right. 16 says, And Jehoshaphat and Jeho Jehoiada made a covenant between him and uh, between all the people and between the king that they should be the Lord's people. Verse 17. Then all the people went to the house of Baal and break it down and break his altars and his images and pieces and slew Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altar. Also Jehoiada appointed the officers of the house of the Lord by the hand of the priests, the Levites, whom David distributed in the house of the Lord to offer the burnt offering of the Lord, as it is written in the law of Moses, rejoicing and with singing, as it was ordained by David. Uh, verse 19. And he set the porters at the gates of the house of, of the Lord that none uh, which was unclean in anything should enter in. And he took the captains of hundreds and the nobles and the governors of the people and all the people of the land and brought down the king from the house of the Lord. They came through the high gates into the house, in the king's house, and set the king upon the throne of the kingdom. All the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was quiet after that they had slain Adaliah with the sword. That's the end of the reading of chapter 23 of Second Chronicles, uh, Second Chronicles chapter 23. I apologize again for the technical difficulty, and um, we uh, want to thank you for um, coming on this morning and for the blessings that God has given to us. Now, we have many um, lessons, many uh, lessons that we can learn from uh, this chapter. 
chapter 23, um, where uh, the queen, the king's mother, had usurped uh, the throne and kill all the children, all of the, the heir to the throne and rule. But uh, when, as the Bible says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard against him. So here it is, the resurgence or the return of the king. Uh, God has a way of uh, overruling what the devil does. The devil is a liar and a loser, even this morning, as he has tried to uh, upset uh, our regular, um, getting radical with the word reading this morning, and our pastor uh, didn't recognize that he was muted, he's offline. God has a way of coming back and bring things back to normal again. So, as the people of Israel made a covenant with the king and, and the reign of the new king, jo Joash, the, the young king, uh, was crowned and became the king of Israel. So God has restored. He said, he'll give you back the years that the canker worm destroyed and the caterpillar destroyed and the locust destroyed and the palmer worm destroyed. God, God is a comeback God. God has a way of restoring things. He's a God, he's a restorer of the good things. And so this morning, we thank him for uh, enabling us to continue with this uh, presentation this morning. And we want to invite you to pray with me now as we conclude this part, this portion of our, our presentation and we go into the announcements that would follow. Father, we thank you and we praise you that in spite of the enemy's way of trying to interrupt what you have done, that you are able to overrule and we thank you for your intervention and your overruling power in all things. So we place ourselves into your care today and thank you for what we have heard today. Thank you for the message of the word and we pray that you will enable us to have a wonderful day today in you and with your direction and protection and deliverance and overruling power. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering us in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you're willing to host one morning to do what the pastor started to do and do what I have done, uh, all you have to do is give me a call at 615-267-8690. That's Pastor Augustus. Ogeast at 615-267-8690, or you may email me at faogiste at icloud.com. That's faogeast at icloud.com, or you may text me at uh, my number 615-267-8690. All right, our host for Monday, as you know, we meet Monday through Friday, and we will not be meeting on uh, Sabbath or Sunday. But on Monday morning, host of Monday morning would be none other than George Starver, and you'll be reading Second Chronicles chapter 24. And if you want to study the traditional Bible, traditional Sabbath school at our church at 800 Young's Lane, please join us at 10 o'clock in person in a multi-purpose room and stay with us for the divine service. We are concluding our evangelistic meeting, our revival on this Sabbath. We are going to have a wonderful day. There are going to be saints. Uh, many are already uh, scheduled to be baptized this Sabbath, going down to the water grave with Christ and rising up in the newness of life. If you want to join us uh, personally, in person do so, but if not, you see in the chat our uh, YouTube channel, just join us there and be blessed. All right, our evangelist meeting concludes. The, the final night is tonight. This is Friday night, the final message of the evening. Pastor Jones, Dr. Jones, our beloved pastor, he'll be leading out and preaching a powerful message he has preached all for these past two weeks. Concluding the nightly meeting tonight at six o'clock, be serving a meal for those who are coming straight from work, come to the fellowship hall and uh, grab something to eat, and then join the pastor at seven o'clock for our meeting this evening. That ends our announcement for the day, and we'll see you on Monday morning God's willing, bright and early, join us for another edition of Radical with the Word with uh, Brother George Starver being our host. Thank you so much for joining us today. May God bless you and have a fantastic, fabulous Friday. In Jesus' name.